Hello Aries viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into your situation, what your person is thinking, feeling, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So let's get into it. It's a lot of psychic energy with this group that I channel a lot. Um, just a lot of energy regarding awakenings, telepathic communication, uh, twin flames, soulmates, life partners, people coming in quick. It's it's been an interesting it's an interesting group that I channel here. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. So what do you need to know about your love life? Please let the messages be clear and direct. What is going on with your person right now? What is going on with your person right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> True love, potential life partner. That's the energy um, I've been getting for this group. Confusion, uncertainty, hesitation, mixed feelings. So the hesitation is just, it's out of fear. It's, it's a fear of rejection, a fear of of pain, of getting hurt. It's a shyness, feeling like they're not good enough for you. We'll look deeper into it. And, you know, also pride and stubbornness and just just being afraid to let go of control, being afraid to take a risk. Codependency and addiction. But you do have some truth coming in here, maybe like a message about how they feel about you. Um, so things are going to start just lining up and starting to make more and more sense for you. I think right now you're kind of unsure about their behavior. You're a little confused, like, does this person want me? Does this person not want me? What is their deal? You know, just wishing they would make up their mind. But I think you have some truth coming in here and it's going to start getting more and more clear. Uh, we have a past life connection here. Maybe soulmates. Could be soul contracts that you or them need to break as well that have been hindering the connection. I think all of it. It looks like it looks like a really it looks like the next couple of weeks is going to bring you a lot of truth and clarity. Like things are just going to you're going to start getting a deeper understanding of their behavior and why they've done the things that they've done. And we have dreams, visions, and telepathic communication here as well. So it looks like a pretty good reading. You know, this group that I channel for the past past few months, I've been getting a lot of just chaotic energy. A lot of life-changing energy like tower moments overnight changes epiphanies awakenings breakthroughs um, just people from your past coming in quickly um, lots of emotion lots of passion lots of forward movement finally you know no longer being in stagnation I think this is like this is one of those groups of areas that are just there's just a lot going on for you this year. There's a lot of both good and bad things, you know, a lot of chaos, a lot of just, this is like a, this is a very life changing year for you. This 2020 marks like a before and after period of your life where it's like, you're going to look back and you're not going to be the same person after this year. Um, you've gone through a lot of things that I think you've never been through before. I think you're just the experiences there's just so much passion and just raw emotion and just life-changing energy and your person is finally waking up too and, and getting on their psychic path and having these epiphanies and breakthroughs and you know finally coming into union with you I think that you get this sense that it's like because before you kind of like have always been told you know you always see like the twin flame and soulmate posts online or on in videos like oh they're almost here they're almost here they're almost here but I think this year you're like, no, this is different. This feels like, like I haven't experienced this before, you know, like you feel that energy, like, no, this actually feels like just like a very different, very strong, unique energy that maybe you are still getting used to, if that makes sense. Like you can tell, I think on a soul level, you know, the wait is over. You know, that period of being told, wait, 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 it's coming, it's coming. Eventually it'll be here is over. You know that these life changes are here. You know that these overnight changes are here. And some of them are just terrifying. Some of them, you guys are being pushed headfirst into the unknown. You know, I'm sure some of the, the life changes you've gone through this year have been painful and upsetting and terrifying. Um, I think you guys have had a lot of tower moments. And some of them are beautiful and amazing. And you're like, you know, my life is just, this is just a very unique year for you. Like, this is just going to, this 
this is like the before it's it's it marks a before and after phase of your life like you're going after after 2020 it's like you're going to look back and the person you were in 2019 is going to be someone you barely recognize it's like you're going to be you're coming into your power you're coming into this these awakenings these epiphanies these 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 dreams visions telepathic communication you know your soul path um, all of it, it's it's getting more and more intense and it's going to continue to get more intense for you guys. So it's beautiful energy, though. It's like it was needed. You know, it's like this flood just came in to push you out of stagnation and push you out of complacency and kind of force you on your, your path, force you um, towards your destiny, towards your destiny, towards your life path, towards the things that are right for your soul, you know? So it's really a beautiful energy, but it's, it's been chaotic. It's been a chaotic year for a lot of you guys, I think. Definitely. Um, just a lot of chaotic, hot and cold, happiness, sadness, just all kinds of just raw, intense emotions and passion. Um, but again, it was necessary to, for that those floods to keep coming in and pushing you to, to get on your path to... Um, to get in alignment with your destiny and the things that are right for you and to get you to reclaim yourself, reclaim the person you were before all the bullshit happened, you know, reclaim. It's like you're healing from trauma. You're healing from a lot of negativity that's happened to you over the years. You're becoming a more empathetic, gentler version of yourself, but also a stronger version of yourself, kind of like Empress, High Priestess type energy that we have here. Where yes, you are going to end up being gentler and more empathic and more caring, but you're also going to be stronger than ever. You're also going to be more powerful than ever. You're also going to be um, just more in alignment than you have in years, more in alignment with your soul, with who you really are, with what you truly want out of life, with your destiny, with your soul path. So it's just, it's very, this, this coming into alignment process that you've been going through this past year, as chaotic as it's been, it's really, really beautiful, actually, if you think about it, if you really take, go inward and look at the person you're becoming, it's really a beautiful energy, it's really actually a good thing. I think you've definitely had to make a lot of adjustments, um, but... There's a strong message here to just trust the process. You're going to look back and you're going to realize why things had to happen the way that they did. It's all going to start to make sense. Your person's intentions and their feelings are going to start to make sense too. I'm going to look deeper into that in just a minute. You, know, you do have this truth or clarity coming in. I think that for they've been distant or maybe ghosted you or just been kind of silent lately or just been kind of maybe giving you mixed messages or there's just some sort of confusion there about where you stand. But I think the truth is going to come in. I think for the majority of you, I don't want to say all, well, if this is a life partner, then yeah, I would say that the truth is going to be more positive than you think it will be. I think there's some fear there wondering what the truth is, but I think it's actually going to be something that's really good. You're going to realize that their hesitation and their mixed feelings has, it's not about a lack of feeling for you. They do have strong feelings for you. It's just this shyness and this fear of rejection that they have. But I'm going to get more into that in just a minute. I just want to quickly say that I also feel you're really, you're becoming the best version of yourself. You're merging all your best masculine and feminine qualities. You know, having the best of both worlds, basically being soft and vulnerable, but strong at the same time, being opinionated, being honest. And it, you're really, it's this beautiful energy because I think that you're really starting to stand on your own where in the past you've been kind of lost maybe you've you've been seeking guidance and you it just wasn't resonating for you like the guidance that applies to the majority of people just doesn't resonate for you you know like if you you know self-help groups or whatever and I'm not saying that you should ignore those like they, you know they, they have their place you definitely should if it's helping you you should continue on with that but I think you're coming to this realization that this is your path it doesn't have to make sense to anyone but you. This is, if your path is just raw emotion and the majority of the world are on this more logical path or they have like their emotions more balanced, but you know, with you, it's like, 
adventure and travel and raw emotion and creativity and this weird, unique, what society dream- deems is just crazy energy is for you, then it's for you. You got to put yourself first and do what makes you happy. You know, society doesn't need to understand it. If you want to wear corset dresses and cloaks every day, then do it. If you if you want to devote your life to art and music and, um, you know, a spiritual path or whatever it is that you're doing, then do it. Um, if you want to tell people bluntly how you feel and, and you feel called to do that, then do it. If you want to be vulnerable and be open and just be weird and silly and creative and adventurous and do all those weird, crazy things that most people judge you for, most people don't do, just do it, you know? I think you're coming into this beautiful energy where you're putting yourself first, you're putting your beliefs first, you're creating your own path, you're not letting society tell you how you should feel or what you should be anymore. You know, it can be hard in spiritual and new age groups because it's like, you know, sometimes they tell you like, oh, you got to think positive, you have to stay detached from emotion, you have to do this and that. And I think I get the energy from this group that you guys have kind of like heard heard something, whether, whether it was that or whether it was something else, like you heard this message repeated over and over again and you're like, this doesn't resonate with my soul. And instead of trying to understand that message now, you're finally like, you know what? Like, I need to follow my soul. I need to go with what resonates for me. I need to stand on my own. I need to go inward. I need to meditate. I need to figure out what works for me. I don't care if it works for society or not. I don't care if everyone in the New Age community or in these groups I'm in or whatever agrees with it or not. It's what's right for me. It's what's worked for me. I can look back on my past and see you know, when I've done this, I've been happy. I've been in this flow. Um, when I've given into raw emotion, when I've given into passion, when I've taken a leap of faith, when I've stepped out of my comfort zone, you know, uh, it's just this very free spirited energy. It's like, go with that, go with that free spirited energy, go with that raw emotion, go with that passion. You know, strip away everything that isn't you. Strip away all the things that are no longer serving you. Strip away all the stagnation and all the things that have been holding you back from being your true, free-spirited, open-minded self. You know, reclaim that side of yourself that you lost over time and do what works for you on a soul level. Look back and see when you've been most in alignment, when you've been most in this, like, universal flow of just spiritual energy and happiness and abundance. Um, and go with that, you know, like really just, just be true to yourself, find who you are on a soul level and be that person. Even if there's not a single person that understands it and resonates with it, it's, I mean, they're, they're, your tribe will resonate with it. They'll understand, you know, if like you wear a, a corset dress or a cloak or something crazy to, to the grocery store and you're like, oh my God, I feel weird. No one else is dressed like that. You're going to meet that one person who's going to look at you and be like, oh my God, I'm like in love with that woman. That's or I'm in love with that man that's, like, so unique. Like, I've never, i never seen anyone dress like that. Like, that's amazing. Like, someone, people, the right people are going to resonate with it. The right people are going to get it. No matter how weird and raw and passionate and creative you are, the right people are going to love you all the more for it. And they're going to be drawn to you all the more for it. And the wrong people are going to think you're a weirdo. And they're just going to fall away. And that's good, though. It's good for them to fall away. You don't want any boring muggles in your life. You want people that are weird and creative and passionate, just like you are, that are going to be able to live their best life just, you know, in alignment with you. Um, It's just this energy of, like, traveling and just this free-spirited, just open-minded, just raw, creative, passionate, weird kind of energy. It's so beautiful. You know, if that's you, if that's who you are on a soul level, get back into alignment with that and take a leap of faith and don't worry about what people think. People will judge you, but they can just fall away. Let the wrong people fall away and let the right people come in, you know? Just, just find your true self again, find your soul again, and stick to that above all else. Don't hold yourself back anymore. Just live your best life. 
live in alignment with your soul and with your passion and your emotion and your purpose and screw what everybody else thinks. So, okay, let's get into the reading with, um, with your person. So, so you do have true love here. You do have a potential life partner here, which makes sense. Just this life changing energy in 2020, it would make sense that you would be in alignment with this, this life partner, like a twin flame or soulmate. Some of you might have met your twin flame and maybe you're going through this awakening process because that does happen after you meet your twin flame where you might like, like when I met mine, I started going into trances and doing these like strange shamanic dances that I still only partially understand. Um, I started drawing sigils on my arms and ruins for protection, like, get, like channeling these like ancient symbols. I started really getting heavily into my witchcraft and my spiritual work, started channeling all the time. You know, things get weird when you meet your twin flame. I'm not going to lie. And you just kind of have to start realizing at first you feel like you're going crazy. At first you're like, okay, how is this real? This doesn't make any sense. But then you start seeing synchronicities and proof in the physical world that it is real. And you kind of start understanding like, okay, this actually is happening. This is real. You start recognizing the true nature of the world, the this, this spiritual nature of the world, things just start kind of aligning and making sense. And you realize that our human minds are just so limited compared to all that's out there. So, so yeah, this, this energy that you're in, this, this, this coming into your power and just being your true self, just your true unapologetic raw self, that raw emotion and passion. It's so beautiful. Um, so yeah, some of you might have met your twin flame this year because that would make sense why you're why you've gotten on this path. Some of you met them a few years ago or even before that, but you're been through this struggle and now you're coming into union with um, whether it's a twin flame or a soulmate. You know, sometimes people do decide to go for soulmates because those can be easier relationships. Twin flames can be there's a lot of chaser chasey crap. It's it's complicated with twin flames. So whoever your life partner is, though, there is that that true love around. There is somebody around you that is your life partner, whether it's in your energy field or they're actually consciously around you. I think most of you they're actually consciously physically around. They have had some confusion and uncertainty. I feel like maybe just about this connection too. It's like you guys have such a strong deep past life connection past lives, like several past lives, you know, thousands of years for a lot of you. And there's this confusion and uncertainty because your person is like, why do I feel this strongly about someone I just met? Like, why do I, why am I having these dreams and visions? Why am I telepathic? Like, what is the telepathic communication? Like you understand it's telepathy, but they might not understand what's going on. You know, they're just kind of like, okay, I'm in love with this person that I barely know what's wrong with me. Am I Am I codependent? Am I crazy? Like, they're, yeah, they have those spheres of codependency. Um, and they're not realizing, you're realizing that there's this, it's, you know, this past life connection that you guys have, but they're not fully realizing that. They're just kind of like, why do I love this person so soon? Um, and so there's some hesitation and mixed feelings and confusion. And I think that they just love you so much that they're, they're shy. They're, they're also afraid of rejection. They're afraid of, coming on too strong they're afraid of just just how deep this connection is there's some pride and stubbornness on their end um almost like a power struggle type energy where it's like they're trying to keep the ball in their court you know two people that are wanting to communicate but they're both being stubborn about it I think they have this fear, like you see this man looking over here at this at this card. It's like I think your your person has this fear that if they give in to this passion, that there's not going to be any way to stop themselves. It's like once they give in to you, they're codependent, they're attached. It's like they're already attached to you, but they're kind of in denial about how attached they are. They're trying to be logical about it, like they love you so much so soon, and they're just sort of thinking like. Like, I must be crazy. This can't be real. I'm probably just codependent. I'm probably just lonely. Like, there's no way I really love this person already. Like, they're kind of in their head trying to be logical, but their emotions are giving out. And I think they're afraid if they let go of the pride and the stubbornness and they come forward that they're just going to be so addicted to you and so enthralled by you. They just think you're so beautiful and so unique and different. And they're just afraid that they're going to be so codependent on you that they're never going to be able to find their independence again because they're just going to 
you're going to be their entire life. Like you're that kind of person in their eyes where you're just so magical and so unique and so just enthralling and just passionate and just real. You're so different than anyone that they know that they're scared, you know, if they let go of the um, the stubbornness and the pride and they come through, they're just going to be addicted to you and codependent on you and this connection for life. And they're so scared of that kind of pain. And I think this truth and clarity is coming in. So they could send a message um, or there could just be some kind of like, you're going to start looking back and understanding why things had to happen the way that they did. And you're going to get some clarity, I feel, over the next couple of weeks on their behavior. Like, I think you've been kind of hurt and thinking like, why are you making me feel invisible? Why are you like that? Why are you doing this to me? And you're going to look back soon and you're going to get truth and clarity that whether it's like something you see them post or whether they say it out loud or it's just through dreams, like I think you're going to be getting some clarity now on why they've been distant. It's really just out of fear because they love you so much. It's not that they don't want you, you know what I mean? It's just that they're trying to work through this fear right now. They could have um, soul contracts they need to end as well, maybe and but dream with dreams visions telepathy it's like you guys are really strongly connected right now and i think that yeah the truth is just coming out is basically let me pull some more cards and see what we get okay any anything else we need to know really quickly about this So we have mutual feelings and emotional depth. Let's see if we can. Is that better? Yeah. We have sadness. We have loyalty, stability, vows. We have listening and understanding, a new perspective. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open mindedness, faith, and bravery. So, yeah, like I said, coming into alignment coming into your full power, being your full true self on a soul level where you can just manifest like that. Just just abundance is pouring in. Those seeds you've planted, they're finally sprouting. Um, and we have happiness, warmth, light coming in here too. Let's get some more clarifiers really quick. Hmm. might have an apology or coming in or something you've been waiting for is coming in like there's this person's going to show some regret i think for the way they treated you i think your person is like kind of being selfish in a way it's like they don't understand your pain they just think like about their own emotions like oh i'm scared of getting hurt what if they hurt me they don't realize that that fear that they're expressing and that that guard they have up is hurting you i think they're going to come to this realization though in the near future you know, with mutual feelings and emotional depth here, I think they're going to realize that the sadness is mutual. It's not like it's just them that's crying and, and blocked. Like, them blocking you is hurting you, too. You know what I mean? It's not like they're just protecting themselves from getting hurt. Like, they need to acknowledge their your feelings. And I do feel like this is kind of saying they are going to start acknowledging those feelings a little bit more, acknowledging the sadness that you feel a little bit more than they have in the past. With loyalty stability vows here i think they're going to be more loyal to you i do think that they're i think their guides are working with them behind the scenes to help them be a little bit more stable to help them accept this connection because it's like i think it came in so strongly and so soon that i think it was like overwhelming for them so i think that your guides are trying to stabilize it a little bit right now so they can slowly accept the nature of this psychic deep you know potential life partner connection um, their guides are just helping them like stabilize the, the energy basically, like slowly accepting it, like giving them dreams about you or just premonitions, just little things like that, like synchronicities. They're kind of controlling. I think their guides are kind of controlling how much information comes in and when it comes in, like there's this energy of divine timing coming in because I think it came, it all came flooding in with them at once. And I think it was just so intense for them that a lot of them like ran from it. 
But their guides are helping them with that. So they're kind of controlling how much information comes in, like kind of giving them little hints here and there and then seeing how they react to the hints, like the synchronicities and seeing if it overwhelms them. Then they step back a bit. If it doesn't overwhelm them, they give them some more synchronicities. So they're they're kind of judging case by case scenario on how much um, to show them, how much to reveal because they're trying to just keep them on the path and just stabilize this energy and get them to be loyal to you. They are loyal to you, but they're they're stabilizing it. You know what I mean? They're helping them um, integrate this this strong connection into their into their lives, basically. And they're going to have this new perspective. I think they are going to have this awakening. They are going to they are through this work. They're going to have this new perspective and understanding. And I think they are being shown a lot of synchronicities, dreams, visions, a lot of psychic energy with this group for sure. And they're coming into alignment. You guys are kind of mirroring each other in that way where you're coming into alignment and being your true self. And your person is also doing that at the same time. You guys are both doing a lot of inner work right now, I think. And they are going to come to this conclusion that, you know, you are their happiness, their warmth, their light, that being vulnerable, being open with you actually is the right decision, that it is safe for them to love again. Let's see what else I can get. Well, let's, let's pull some for the Love of the Moon cards that I just made. So I just made both of these decks. If you have any interest in purchasing, I, purchasing either of these decks, I don't have my shop up yet. I'm going to do it sooner or later. But um, if you do want to purchase either of these decks, just send me an email and, I, and you can PayPal me and I'll send them out to you. Uh, and if you would like a private reading, if you want me to look more in depth into your situation, you can send me an email for that as well. And I will see what's going on with your situation. So let's just get some final messages really quick. They all wanted to come out. Okay. Family or friends played a role in our separation. Okay. And be caring too much about what people thought in the past. And now they're coming to a, uh, now they're starting to not do that so much. I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, your everything. You bring out that side of me. So yeah, I think they're starting to realize slowly that you are in pain and that they have been hurting you and that the the silence does hurt you more than they realize. Um, and they're wanting to do better by you. They're wanting to do right by you. They're wanting to make up for that and um, protect your heart instead of just you know doing whatever with your heart. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. Yeah, they're scared, but they will trust you. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. Yeah, that's what we just got in the beginning. My, you know, kind of just confirming everything we just got. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape this synchronicity. Your name comes up in conversation. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. I need you to help me understand. I thought I could find clarity, but I can't, and I need answers. So yeah, there's there's this truth being revealed. I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Yeah, they're going to start realizing that they've been hurting you and they're going to start coming um, into the into this um, energy of just, just awakening. You're, you guys are mirroring each other and they're just going through this awakening right now, basically. I have daydreamed about what it would be like to be married to you. So yeah, there's they feel strongly for you. They really love you. They see you as the one and it scares them and they kind of think they're crazy for feeling so strongly about someone they barely know. But they, um, yeah, they have thought about marriage. They have consider considered marriage with you. You're my safe space, my fr frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels easier to just live in this imaginary world I created in my head. Can we get a couple more? I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. And I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles that have been keeping us apart. So they are coming through. They just It's just a process. It's just kind of divine timing and just trusting the process. But there is a lot. It's a lot of really beautiful, really positive, really just intense, spiritual, free-spirited, uh, abundance, lo true love, just just passion, emotion. This is this is like the time of just raw emotion and awakening and just it's it's beautiful energy that I'm getting for this group. So I hope that resonates. If it does, go ahead and subscribe to me. And um, again, my email is below if you want to reach out. Thank you.